Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a kegel while it's inside. Ben Shapiro does a really good job at embarrassing himself without even realizing it, and well, to say he's done it again is a bit of an understatement. Recently on his podcast, he was talking about the song WAP, where he essentially admitted that, um that his wife's never been aroused. Through his interpretation of the song, he seems to believe that the, uh, bodily functions that Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B are describing are abnormal. <laughs> whores in this house. There's some Then I'm sorry that your delicate snowflake ears were offended, but after this is where he starts to go into accidentally admitting that his wife has never been aroused. The song is so unsexy that it frankly sounds like somebody describing what amounts to a serious condition that requires the care of a doctor. So, fortunately, I know a doctor who's my wife. And so I asked her for her medical diagnosis. Now this is about where we get to a dilemma. It must be decided whether or not Ben and his wife are just too stupid to realize that these lyrics are, are just that, they're just lyrics. They're not meant to be taken as literal statements or that his wife has just never experienced arousal. Personally, I'm going with both. And she looked at the lyrics herself. And after being kind of appalled by them, obviously, she had a few sort of indicators here on how she could diagnose the, the vaginal condition that apparently these women are suffering from. So there are a few sort of giveaways. There are a few sort of giveaways here. So first of all, a bucket and a mop for this wet ass P word. So first of all, she had to clarify whether wet ass P word was a description of the P word or whether one of the clinical symptoms here was also diarrhea. But bring a bucket and a mop. So this suggests that there's an awful lot of, um, not to be too graphic, but some sort of uh, medical discharge that's happening here. Like a lot too much. Right, a lot too much because that's a symptom of something that is not going great. Apparently, there, there are signs of prolapse. Um, and, and I say that because hop on top, I want to ride, I do a kegel while it's inside. So there's some signs of some actual clinical prolapse, which is, which is a problem. And this is where Ben digs an even deeper hole for himself, accidentally admitting he thinks the only purpose of performing a kegel is to correct a prolapse. Also, there's some, there's some talk about um, where this person is putting their nose. And uh, and and there's some talk about smelling, right? There's a there's a line here about gagging and choking, which suggests that perhaps perhaps there's an odor issue here. You see, now Ben is making himself even less reputable. The line involving a nose refers to swiping the nose like a credit card. The line about choking is in a completely different section of the song. Come on, Benjamin, keep up. Also, the, at some point in here, there's a reference to diabetes, uh, about uh, about a, a person who. Uh, engages in particular activity and ends up diabetic, which suggests a serious pH imbalance. So I asked my wife for a differential diagnosis for the sake of these ladies in case they need to go to the doctor. I mean, like this, this is a problem. I mean, like if, if this is real, like there's water pouring out the front doors of this place and that ain't water guys. I mean, that's, that's what I'm being told. That ain't water. So the medical diagnosis, here, here was her differential. Her differential diagnosis, my wife, the doctor, was either these women are suffering from bacterial vaginosis or a yeast infection, or my wife suggested most probably they are suffering from trichomonas. And Ben, it appears that your wife is suffering from a sex life on life support. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. What is that noise? What is that noise? Hold up. Uh, I said certified free seven days a week in a mop for this wet ass p -word. Give me everything you got for this wet ass p -word. Beat it up n word, catch a charge, extra large and extra hard. Let's say, hypothetically, you subscribe to August the Duck, this of course, would be very nice, and within your constitutional liberties, however, hypothetically of course, if you were, to not subscribe to August the Duck, one might be inclined to uppercut your grandmother.